اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ علیہ سیدنا و نبینا محمد و آلہ الطاہرین السلام علیکم جمیع و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ Inshallah, tonight uh, we are going to uh, do chapter number 12, which is about the Torah and Bible in the Holy Quran. There's a hadith from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil faradahum. Rasul Khuda says, Man qara'a ashara ayatin fi laylatin. That whoever recites 10 verses of the Holy Quran every night, fi laylatin, every night if he's reciting 10 ayat from the Holy Quran, lam yuktab min al ghafilin that that person will not be counted amongst the negligent ones, ghafilin, those who are negligent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whoever recites 10 verses. Then Rasul Khuda continues and says, wa man qara'a khamsina ayah, and whoever recites 50 verses from the Holy Quran, kutiba min al he will be written as those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whoever recites 100 ayah every night, wa man qara'a mi'ata ayatin kutiba min al then he will be written down as the obedient and worshipper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This hadith is from Thawabul A'mal wa Iqabul A'mal is of Sheikh Suduq Rahmatullah Alayhi. Oh. Last night, if you remember, we had started Fail Mudari Imperfect Tense. So we did three sigas of Fail Mudari. Sigha number one was yaktubu, yaktubane, yaktubuna. Can anyone of you come forward and from this dual and plural, can anyone tell me or can dissect that what are the three letters, why I have like highlighted these three letters with blue, uh, red and green, what are these letters actually? Please come forward. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Fatima Laka, Walaikum Salaam. Sister Fatima Laka, please. Sister Fatima, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum Assalaam wa rahmatullah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello. All right. So the the ya highlighted in blue is the prefix. Prefix. Okay. And then, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Is my voice breaking? All of you can hear me, or from whose side there's an issue? We can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, then Sister Fatima Laka, then there is some. The alif is the alif, pronoun. Alif is pronoun. And what about noon? Anyone else can try? There is some issue from your side, Sister Fatima Laka. Yes, anyone can try? Sister Ifat, yes. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Okay. The the ya is the prefix. Mm -hmm. The uh, uh, alif is the pronoun, mm -hmm. the subject, mm -hmm. and the noon is the rafa. Ah, sign sign of rafa, raf rafa ain rafa. The sign of yes. Yeah, so it's a, yeah. it's a substitute of dhamma. Dhamma ahsanti. The actual sign of rafa is dhamma. But when Dhamma is not possible, then Noon comes. You just remember, I'll just give you one hint. There are five sigas where the alamat is Dhamma. Number one, 
number four, number seven, and number 13 and 14. So five sirahs, you just remember. One, remember, one, four, seven, 13, 14. And these five sirahs have some common attributes. Inshallah, we'll discuss later on. One, four, seven, 13, 14. Alama Terafa is Vamma. It's easy. Cool. Now, tonight we are going to continue uh, and we'll do three more sirahs of female, third person female, singular, dual, and plural. So, how will uh, make sirahs out of it? Yatubu was the first one. What we will do here is from ta, harfe mudare, ta will come taktubu. And why I have written here and hua here? Because the zamir, the pronoun, is not apparent, it's hidden. Hiya is hidden inside taktubu. So yaktubu is sirah number one, taktubu is sirah number two. Now sirah number five is easy. Taktubu, alif noon bring afterwards. Taktubane. Last one for tonight, six one. If you remember, in Mazi, for example, if I say, Doraba, Doraba, Dorabu, Dorabat, Dorabata, Dorabna. Dorabna, I told you that Sira number six is formed or derived from Sira number one. In the same way here, Sira number six will be derived from Sira number one. So for female, the first two Sira's, if you see, four and five, the prefix is ta, but here the prefix will change. Prefix, prefix will change because it is derived from sirah number one, yaktubu, and if you remember, the last one becomes silent and we bring noon at the end. Yaktubu, it will become yaktubna. Please pay attention here. Among all these three, all, all these six sirahs, Sira number six is different from other sirahs. Why? Because all other sirahs, if you see, are marfur. They have alamate rafar. Sira number six doesn't have any alamate raf. If you see, there is a prefix, ya, and there's a noon. And this noon, if you remember, the, the noon here is not alamate raf. This noon is a pronoun. This noon is a pronoun. So where is alamat raf? You just remember and memorize it that the, that the sira number six and the sira number 12, they do not have alamat raf. They don't have sign of raf. Oh. So this alamat noon is the pronoun for feminine. So, yaktubu, yaktubani, yaktubuna, taktubu, taktubani, yaktubna. So, what I have done here? So, I have dissected all the six sirahs. Can you see here? Third person, masculine, feminine, singular, dual, plural, singular, dual, plural. Yaktubu, yaktubani, yaktubuna, taktubu, taktubani, yaktubna. So what are the prefix? The first one in the first sira prefix is ya. In, the, in sira number two, prefix is ya. In sira number three, prefix is ya. In sira number four and five, prefix is ta. And in sira number six, prefix is ya. Now, what are the pronouns? In yaktubu, pronoun is huwa, which is hidden. And in sira number four, taktubu, heya is hidden. But in other sirahs, you can see they are apparent. For example, yaktubane, alif is the pronoun. Yaktubuna, vav is the pronoun. 
taktubani alif is a pronoun and here yaktubna noon is not alamat raf noon is a pronoun now let's see sign of raf sign of raf alamat raf in yaktubu alamat raf is dhamma yaktubani alamat raf is noon yaktubuna alamat raf is noon taktubu alamat raf is dhamma taktubani alamat raf is noon yaktubna there is no alamat raf why because the sign of raf sigha number 6 and sigha number 12 they do not accept sign of raf is there any question till now in all these six sigas if you have any question you can ask me please okay uh okay i can give you one example so you can form nasara ya okay sister saida you want to ask something yes i want to ask this uh, the last one yaktubna mm -hmm. uh, you you that is a feminine uh, so you have to say yak you can you can say taktubna no because i told you before that the sigha number 6 is derived from sigha number 1 taktubna will come taktubna will come for sigha number 12 inshallah we will cover taktubna is sigha number 12 okay inshallah okay thank you thank you khub can anyone tell me nasara yansuru can anyone form yansuru six sigas out of it nasara is the first sigha rest nasara yansuru yansuru can anyone form five sigas remaining five sigas out of it yansuru fast of us yalla we don't have time we have to do can i try yeah assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam so yansuru yansurani yansuruna yan yansuru yansuru tansuru tansurani yansurna ahsanti Okay, let me give one more. Alama ya alamu ya alamu. Can anyone try? Please, Sister Zainab, ya alamu, please. Ya alamu, ya alamani, ya alamun. Ta alamu, ta alamani, ya alamna. Ya alamna. Ahsanti. One more thing I can give you. For example, sharofa yashrofu, yashrofu, please. Can I pray? Salamu alaikum. Sakina Zainab Juma, okay. Yeah, um, yashrofu, mm -hmm. yashrofani, mm -hmm. yashrofuna. Mm -hmm. Tashruf, tashrufu, tashrufu. Tashrufani. Tashrufani. Yes. Yes. Yashruf. Yashrufna. Ahsanti, sister Sakina Zaina. What's your age? Nine. Nine. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Okay. Last one from Baraba Yadurebo. Yadurebo. Can anyone try Yadurebo? Yes, I want to try. Okay, sister. Yes. Yadurebo. Yadurebani. Yadurebuna. Tazurebo. Tazurebani. Yadurebna. Yadurebna. Excellent. Ahsanti. Jazakumullah khaira. Good. Let's move forward. There is a there is a there is an exercise tonight. Identify the tense and the sigha number from the verses of Surah Yasin. So I have chosen ten verses, and I have already highlighted the uh, verbs uh, of Fale Mawi and Fale Muzari. Fale Muzari, the first three sighas only. So you have to identify the tense. Is it Fale Mawi or is it Fale Muzari? Then you have to tell me the sigha number. Okay. Please, can anyone come forward? Inna jalna fi aqnaqim aglalan fahiya ila lasqani fahum mukmahun. Jalna. Oh. 
please there's no need to raise Shall your I hand try? it takes a lot of time come forward Shall I try Yeah uh sikha number 14 of so first tell me the tense Past tense. Now it's you, you should say it's fele madi. It's a past tense and it is oh, okay. sikha number fourteen. Ahsanti. Okay. Is arsalna ilayhi muthnayn fakadzabu huma faazzadna bithalithin fakalu inna ilaykum mursalun. Oh, I have highlighted four sikha here. Please come forward. Sikha number five. Please come forward. Uh, Sigha number fourteen. First, tell me the tense. It's the past tense. It's the past uh, tense. Sigha number fourteen. Arsalna is a past tense. Filimavi. Sigha number fourteen. Kazabu. Yeah. Kazabu is Sigha number three. First, tell me the past. Yeah. First, tell me the tense. It's a past it's tense. A past. It is Sigha number three. Ah, Santi Kazabu. Wow. From wow, you can pick it up. فَعَزَّزْنَا عَزَّزْنَا This is uh, present. Okay. Do you see the harf atayna on top of it? Prefix is there? This is siga um, number three. No, number two. Ajab. Please help Sister Ifat. Uh, other sisters or... Brothers can help, sister. It's, it's number fourteen, and it is in the past. Yeah, it's a past tense. Azazna. How can you say it's present tense if do if you do not see any harf ataina? There is no prefix before it. It is a past tense, and it is sigh number fourteen. Fakalu, kalu. Please. This is sigh number three. It's mm -hmm. past tense. It's a past tense. Excellent. Ahsanti. Khub. Kalu, Kalu is the same one. Past tense, Sikha number three. Vow is the uh, pronoun. Ya alamo. Okay, who can tell me, brother Abbas? Come forward faster. There is no need to raise your hand. Come forward. We just waste our time. Um, it hand. is past tense and um, Sikha number three. It's wrong. Ya alamo. Ya alamo. You don't see on top of it. There is a prefix. Yalamu is um, present tense and uh, mm -hmm. Siga number? First Siga, si, first Siga. Siga number one, Ahsan. Because you see Yalamu, Ya is there on top of it. It's Alema Yalamu. Hub, Ahsan. Hub. Ittabi'u la yas alu kum ajram wa hum muhtadun. Yas alu. Please. Present tense, Siga number one. Present tense, Siga number one, Ahsanti. Qila dukhulil janna qala ya layta qawmi ya'lamun, ya'lamun. Ya, please. Present tense. Siga number? Siga number three. Siga number three. That yaktubu, yaktubani, yaktubuna. Ya'lamu, ya'lamani, ya'lamuna. From wow, you can pick it up. That it is sigh number three. Ahsanti. Bima ghafara li rabbi wa ja'alani min al-mukrameen. Ghafara and ja'ala. These two verbs. Past tense and figure number one. Both are past tense and sigh number one. Ahsant. Alam yaraw kam ahlakna qablahum min al-qurun annahum ilayhim la yarji'un ahlakna. Siga number 14, past tense. Ahsanti, yarji'un. This is Siga number 3, present tense. Ahsanti, excellent. Where other sisters are there? They are there in the class and the brothers. Please come forward. If I do not give you these exercises, you can... This is a practice, actually. You should come forward. Okay, Sister Ifad, just wait for a while. Uh, let other come ahead at first. 
خب لا الشمس لم لا الشمس ينبغي لها ان تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون ويقولون متى هذا الوعد ان كنتم صادقين سيغا نمبر 3 بريزنت تنس احسنتي سيغا نمبر 3 بريزنت تنس سو سيستر افت يو ميد اور لايف ايزي ذات الحمد لله وي كومبليتد سون الحمد لله مي الله جيف يو خير خوب ثانك يو ووكابولري اوكي ووكابولري ووكابولري بارت ذا فيرست word is in g and the third word is tawra they are proper noun so there is no need to go in the linguistic meaning in g is bible tawra is tawra ahl is people or family there was another letter i told you before the meaning is same what was the meaning what was the letter what what is that word actually al 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 and ahl are same so you can write ahl oblique al both are same walida walida is mother ulaika those can anyone tell me about this ulaika what word is it ulaika it's chapter number 3 i sent you some slides in chapter number 3 which type of pronoun is it mm -hmm. ya allah ya allah ya allah please go through with the slides it is, is it's a demonstrative pronoun ismul ishara that's why i brought these slides again i told you there in chapter number 3 for masculine and for feminine if it is near we have some ism ishara hadha is for singular which is near and for plural it is ha ula a these for feminine ha they this and for, for plural is ha ula a and if the thing is far you will say zalika for masculine for singular for feminine tilka and the thing if it is far you will say ulaika okay ulaika and now just tell me ulaika is for plural the thing which is far and it is for it is used for masculine and feminine both those see ulaika is those is for plural ismul ishara for far it is for masculine and feminine both please memorize this please all of you please memorize this khob ismul ishara for place huna or ha huna here huna ka huna lika thamma is for far you say there khob fasiqun fasiqin uh, in english we do transgressors okay what is the meaning of fasiq fasiq is derived from the word from the term fisq fisq means breaking the ag agreement or to leave out or to go out okay if we take this meaning to leave out or to go out ulama have said that fasiq is a person who goes out or from the hudud from the limits of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he goes out from the religion a fasik is the one who commits a greater great major sin or repeatedly commits minor sins so if a muslim commits one of the great major sins like adultery fornication or stealing or consuming riba interest or usury and then alike then he is a fasik person similarly if he commits a minor sin but insists on committing it again and again and does not remain repent he is also considered a fasik person okay can anyone tell me what is the difference between major sin and minor sin mm -hmm. check i think so major sin is a, a big sin and minor sin is a small one okay what is this minor and big and small what is the criteria that we are distinguishing major and minor on what basis what is the criteria yes please tonight right 
Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, minor sin are those uh, which uh, we make uh, unintentionally. And uh, uh, it happens then uh, we, we try to um, repent on it because we feel that uh, why this happened. Um, All the and, sins actually uh, which a person performed without any intention, the intention was not there. It is not considered a sin. A sin is a sin when a person is has an intention. Mm -hmm. Still, I'm waiting for the reply. Okay, I can give you an assignment for this. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Don't raise hand, please. When I'm asking question, please come forward. Sister Sakina Zainab, please. Um, fast as uh, you say that a big sin, mm -hmm. a major sin is a big sin that hurts the 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 soul a lot, okay. but a minor sin hurts the soul a bit. Okay, okay. Not okay. really. Santi, you tried. I, I really appreciate. So Alhamdulillah, you tried. Hope. See, major sin is a sin. Ulamas have described this, that major sin is a sin that the punishment is mentioned either in Quran or in Hadith. The punishment is mentioned. And a sin whose pun punishment is not mentioned in the Quran or in the Hadith, that, that sin is called a minor sin. But if you see from the eyes of Urafa, they say that no sin is a smaller sin in because what a person is doing, he is disobeying his Lord, he's disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Imam Ali salam says that how can be a sin, a smaller sin, if it is performed in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So no sin is a small sin. Khub. Furqan. Furqan is distinguisher. Or sometimes you can put oblique, you can say criteria. Criterion. Okay. Furqan, a distinguisher between truth and falsehood. Furqan is from farq. Because the Holy Quran is a distinguisher between good and evil or false or truth. Cool. Now, va'ad. Va'ad is promise. What we call in uh, Urdu is va'ada. The same is va'ad. And there is another word which is wa'id. Normally in Arabic, for good thing, if there is a promise for good thing, it is called wa'ad. And if it is a promise for a bad thing or a punishment, it is called wa'id in Arabic. Anna is that. Ha is a pronoun, she, her, or it. Law is if. There, was, there is another word which we did for if. Can anyone remember? Mm -hmm. It was in. It was in. In is for? Uh, conditional sentence if. Akamu is a past tense. They established akamu. Alamtu. Alamtu is a past tense and it is sigha number 13. To. I taught. Kalu is a past tense. Is a sigha number 3. They said. Now, uh, all of you, those who have memorized uh, past tense, it's easy for you actually to tell that which sigha is it. Qila is a passive voice, is from Qala. Qala, he said, Qila, it was said. So you, you won't see a subject here that who said, we don't know. Qila. Lam yahkum, he did not judge. So remember, yahkumu is a present tense. Is fele mudare, yahkumu is a sigh number one. If we do the translation of Yahkumu, it will be he judges. Just remember, whenever Lam comes on top of before Fele Mubare, so it does two different things. You can write, please write. If Lam comes before Fele Mubare, it does two different things. Number one, you can see, I, I can say three different things it, it, it does. If lam comes on yahkum, number one, if you see at the end, alamate, 
رفع علامة رفع الضمة has gone so لم when لم comes on فيلم مزارع علامة رفع رفع is removed if it is ضمة ضمة will be removed if it is نون نون will be removed it's number one number two يحكمو is a affirmative verb it makes it negative يحكمو he judges when لم comes it will be not and the third one yahkumu is fi'l mudhari present or for future but when lam comes on top of it it makes it mazi it's a past tense now they did not judge so can anyone anyone tell me how many changes lam makes when it comes before fi'l mudhari please tell me that's right yeah So it makes it negative and uh, reverts it to the past tense. Or reverts it to the is. past tense. And what about the changes in a love, in a in in the verb while the writing? Is the mudare, but it becomes meaning of uh, no. madri. Okay. One more thing I told you. The first one is the alamat eraf. It removes the alamat eraf. If you see, it was yahkomo because of lam. Alamat eraf was for siga number one. It was zama. Zama is gone. Lam yahkum. Okay. Okay. So alamat eraf is gone. Number two makes it negative. Number three revert it to the past tense. These three changes when lam comes on top of yahkum. Fele mudare lam or lamma is same. Lam or lamma. Hope. Next one. Uh, it, Men. Yes, please. Uh, is it uh, the preposition lam? Lam. Lam is a particle actually. It's a half. Lam is is a particle. When it comes on fail, it makes it brings three different changes. I tell, I told all of you. Okay. No menu. No menu is D believe. No menu is siga number fourteen. We have not done fail mudare. Inshallah we'll do. Wal yahkum. It is not wala yahkum. It is wal yahkum, and he must judge. Insha Allah, we'll do this. Wal yahkum is actually siga uh, amr imperative. So we will come. We'll do insha Allah after fil mudare. We'll reach how to make fil uh, amr imperative, and he must judge. You allemo, you allemo siga number one. He teaches. Okay, so please get ready. Sister Sakina Muhammad Ratansi. After Sister Sakina, I will ask Sister Zainab. Get ready. Yes. Alimu. Um. You alimu he learns. Alimu he teaches. He teaches. Okay. Um. Wal yahkum. Just a second. Well, yeah, Kum, uh, he 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 is wise. Yeah, Kum is judge, and he must oh, he, judge. He he must judge. Yes. Santi, Jazakum Allah Khaira, Sister Zainab. After Sister Zainab, uh, I will ask Sister uh, M F. No, okay. me no. No, me no. We believe. We believe. Lam yahkum. He did not judge. He did not judge. Qila. Qila. He was said. It was said. It was said. It, it's, it's a passive voice. Hope it is called fail okay. majhul. Hope. Last one. Qalu. They said. They said. Okay. Ah, something. Okay, Sister M F, please. Okay. After Sister M F, I will ask Sister Kaniz. Okay. Alam to. I taught. Aqamu. 
they they established they established low low f okay one thing i just want to tell you that when law comes with the condition normally the translation is there in the past so when you do the translation with the if you will do the translation normally it is if if it had been like if it had like this so it's in the past ha she or it she her or it last one from you fasiqun fasiqin transgressor so who is fasiq Mm -hmm. someone who um breaks the boundaries or breaks the agreement santi jazakumullah khaira sister kanis assalamu alaikum wa alaikum wa rahmatullah next sister fatima lakha you get ready anna that that wa'd promise What is the difference between wa'ad and wa'id? Wa'id is uh, a bad uh... a promise for a bad thing actually for punishment, okay? Furqan distinguisher Okay, if it is a characteristic of furqan is a characteristic of Quran, then it is a distinguisher between I don't know. I told you that Quran is a distinguisher between distinguisher between false and truth, good and evil. Ula eka. Those. No, it's a demonstrative pronoun, huh? Thank you, Sister Fatima Laka. Please. Yes. Assalamualaikum. Okay. Waalaikum assalam. After Sister Fatima Laka, I will ask Sister Sakina Zainab. Walida, mother. Mother. Ahl. People of or family. Or family. Okay. Do these five. Multiple choice. Okay. The first one is A. Please read it out. Aqamu. They establish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. They um. Yes. A. The second one is a, ha is her, I mean she, her or it, and the second one is if. Uh, she, her or it, just uh, write she, she, her or it. Third one. Number three is a. Mm -hmm. Allam to, I taught, you allimu, he teaches. Mm -hmm. Number four is b. He judges and he must judge. Yahkumu. It should be Yahkumu. Please put Zamma on top of it. Yahkumu. He judges. Wal Yahkum. It should be Wal Yahkum. Fata should not be there. Wal Yahkum and he must judge. Number five is B. Anna is that. Wa'ad is promise. Ahsanati. Jazakumullah khaira. Sister Sakina Zainab. I will ask uh, afterwards uh, Abbas. Okay, get ready, brother Abbas. Later on. Okay, sister Sakina. Sister Sakina. Transgressors, people of family. Uh, a. Fasikun, transgressors is fasikun, and people or family is ahl. Distinguisher and they established. Uh, Furkan is distinguisher. Akamu is they established. Mr. Sakina, can you please tell me Akamu is which Sira? Sira number? Mm, three. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad ahsanti jazakumullah khaira. Inshallah, I'll go to Haram. I will recite ziyarat on your behalf, especially. 
Asanti. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, kum. He did not judge. Oh yeah. Lam yeah, kum is he did not judge. Yeah, walam. Wal yeah, kum. Walam yeah, kum. Walam yeah, kum. Is he must judge me? B, okay. Inna is certainly. Anna is that a. Okay. Walida mother. Maybe one. A. A is the character of Ahsanti. Jazakumullah khaira. Brother Abbas. Last, uh, next, uh, after Abbas, I'll ask Sister Jamie. Okay. Yeah, please uh, forgive me if I'm calling out your names, Jamie, because the name is written like this. So please forgive me. Yahkumu mm, bihan Nabi I think so. Um, that is uh, A. The Prophet's judgment. <laughs> Musaddiqal lima bayna yaday. Bayna yaday, you remember the meaning in front or before? Before them? Before it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that is B. Verify Musaddiqan for that which is before him. Udhkur ni'mati alayka wa ala validatik. That is A. That is A. Remember my blessings upon you and upon your mother. Walaw annahum aqamu tawarata wal injila. That is B. B. It's A. And if they establish the Torah and Bible. Because in B, if is not there and they established, law is if. And if all of you notice that if has come, but in the translation, you see established it's in the past tense. So normally, law comes for a for conditional sentence and conditional sentence for the past tense. So, وَعَدًا عَلَيَّ حَقًّا فِي التَّوْرَاتِ وَالْإِنْجِيلِ um, That is uh, letter B. Option B. وَعَدًا عَلَيَّ حَقًّا A true promise. Upon him in the Torah and the Bible, Ahsant, Sister Jamie, and next will be, Salam, next will be B M. I don't know who is B M. Okay. Inna Alikum Salam. Inna Anzalnat Torah. Certainly, we have. A... Certainly, we have sent. We have sent Torah. Uh, certainly, we sent down so, Torah. We send the Torah. Certainly, we sent down the Torah. Fiha hudan wa nur. Fiha. Fi is. Is um. Fi is in. He is. He is. Yeah. Now, fiha in it is a hudan wa nur. Udan wa nur. Fiha Udan means fiha he is. No, in it. Fiha is in it. Is a guidance and a light. Ahsanti Jazakumullah Khaira. Who was, who is BM? Please come forward. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum what's your name? Fatul Mahesha. Okay, Mahesha, okay. Sister Mersha after Sister Mersha will ask Sister Sayyida N. Get ready, Sayyida N. Okay, wa atayna hul injila. What is atayna? Atayna vi gave. And we gave him the Bible. Well, I... And we gave him the Bible. Okay, are you ready? Or should I give chance to someone else? Yeah, please, some, someone else, please. Okay, Mishus. 
but please do practice okay yeah sure sister sayeda n sister mukarrama wal ji please assalamu alaikum alaikum assalam wa hudan wa mawidatan lil muttaqin and guidance and an admonition for those who are god weary sentine and guidance and admonition for the god weary wa yu'allimu al kitaba wal hikma and uh, he teaches the book and the wisdom see what you have done the transition wa wa yu'allimu you have done the transition yu'allimu he teaches the book and the wisdom where is the transition of who he him oh he teaches him. and he teaches him the book and the wisdom you did the transition of wa yu'allimu al-kitaba wal hikma it is wa yu'allimu al-kitaba so you have to do the transition of who so and he teaches him the book and the wisdom next one please uh, Uh, one more you do wa anzala tawrada wal injila do two more set down the tawrat and uh, the torah and the bible so the end he sent down the torah and the bible qala allah ya isa ibn maryam said allah o isa son of mary or maryam santi jazakum allah khaira okay who was the next one sister ifat after sister ifat uh, sister khairun nisa rashid get ready please sister ifat okay um surna amati alaik remember my blessings upon you remember my favor or blessing upon you then what is alam tukal kitab and uh when i teach you the book is and remember when i alam to is a past tense taught when i taught when you I the taught book book alam to is with sira alam to is sira number 3 علم تو تا تم تم تی تم تم تو نا تو یہ صیغہ نمبر 13 اوکے نمبر 13 خب و اذا قیل لهم and when it was said for them said uh, with said we use to actually so for is not a Good times. That's why we have done transition when it was said to them. Okay, last one from you. Wal yahkum ahlul injil. And uh, the people mm-hmm. of the Bible. Okay, do the transition. Wal yahkum. Yahkum the people. Um. Well, Yahkum was he must judge, but because see, number one, I told you, if there is a noun, subject is noun, so then there is no need for he. So you have replaced he with people of uh, the Bible. Bible. The translation. He has replaced the people with the Bible. I am telling yeah. well, Yahkum. the pronoun was he must judge you have replaced he with ahlul injil so just uh, the people of the injil the people of the bible must judge <laughs> you have just translated no issues no issues i really appreciate no issues no issues khob sister sakina mohammad ratan na sister khairun nisa get ready sister sakina mohammad ratan si uh وَمَنْ 
was sent by Allah. Okay, Asante. Waman and whoever lam yahkum does not judge bima with that which Allah sent down. Now you can ask one question. Lam yahkum he did not judge. Why I'm doing does not judge. Sometimes after man, because this is mani sharatiya, mani is a conditional. So in a conditional sentence, you will see a past tense is used, but we do the translation as a present tense, a present verb. Okay, fa ula ika humul fa ula ika so uh, so those of so those whom what is whom so, so those of you for those no. of you are so those whom they alpha are, are transgressors so those they are the transgressors they can you can write or so those are the transgressors so if you do a translation whom so, you, so those they are the transgressors. Asanti, him, and what was sent uh, by them from their rub, from their Lord. I would really appreciate if you do word by word translation. Please try to learn in this class word by word translation. Uva ma, what is ma? And what? What, whatever that and which or whatever, Asanti, whatever or that which is okay. Was sent. It was sent down. Unzila is a passive. Ilay him. Ilay him from him. No, to them. Ila is to him is them. Men from their lord. From their lord or general. So those who do word by word translation, I really appreciate because our motive is this, our goal is this, you should learn how to do, how to do the translation of the Quranic verses word by word. So you should not miss even a single word when you're doing the translation. Hope Sister Sakina Muhammad Atansi, please come forward. Then later on is Sister Fatima Lakha, get ready. Yes. Here I am. Wadan alayhi haqqa will be a promise to him with Allah, Allah. Allah upon, mm. upon him truth. It's true. Promise upon him is truth. It's truth. It's truth. No, 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 we believed that which was sent down to you all to you or upon you all upon you all okay and you have not done the transition of be with or in, in relation in, to in 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 we believe in believe in okay so we believe in we believe which, in that which was sent down upon us okay do the translation of oh sorry fill in the blanks okay fiha huda wa nura huda is guidance and and prophet nabi yun hikma yahkumu he, he he is wise with it the prophets no, yahkumu is he judges he now judges. there is no need to bring he because he yeah. is replaced with nabi yun okay i thought it comes from the word hikma that the root word is the same hikma yeah. hokum all the world, if I inshallah get some chance, so uh -oh. I will have a discussion on that. Yeah. What is the root word hakama means? And they have oh. the, all, all these words have the same meaning. Okay. Hikmat, hokum, hakim, the meaning is the same. Yeah. Yahkumu. Okay. Yahkumu, he judges with it. The prophets judge. The prophets with judge with it. Okay, Musadiqan. Uh, a verifier? Uh, uh, okay, verifier from Taurat, which is Taur Torah, 
and guidance the Torah and guidance huda wa mawizata lil mutaqin wa mawiza is I can't can you repeat that please A D M O N Admonished Admonished Admonition Admonish. <laughs> Admonish. Okay. okay. That one, uh, is we send down. Mm -hmm. He sent down the Torah and Injil, which is Bible, from before a guidance for for Nas mankind. The mankind. Okay. The man. No need to to do the translation of min here because it came before Kabil. So just put yeah. on from. Okay, do the okay. Uh, rest two as well. Uh, Nama is blessings. My favorite. My favorite. It is Nemati. Nemati. Oh. And then upon your Walidatik, Walidatik is your children. Or... Asanti, Walida is a mother. Walid, Walida is mother, but. It's Walida. You don't see Ta oh, here. So, so mothers, upon your mothers. Oh, mothers, thought, mother, Walida, upon your mother. Upon, upon your mother. I thought, I, I thought it comes Walid. It is Walid. I, I always make a mistake between all these Walid words. Walid. So don't you yeah. use this word Walida? Because in our language, in Urdu, we use Walida. Walida is mother. Don't you use Walida? <laughs> You haven't heard no i use i use mama or or ummi okay inshallah we'll try inshallah in the next uh book we'll yeah this word mom okay go ahead then we have yakumu which is he judges against so who, and whoever judges with that and then wait, wait, wait for a while it is lam yahkum. I told you when lam comes on top of uh, before yahkum, it makes it, affirmative into negative. So whoever is wise with that? Again, wise. Yahkum is judge. judge. Judges. How okay, can yahkum is judge? So lam is poor. Uh -huh. Poor? Whoever does, does not judge. judge. Oh. Negative. I had a whole discussion over there on Lam Yakum. Please go. I and... came in late, late ah. today. So what should I do? I had a discussion <laughs> that Lam Yakum. Please, when uh, uh, this file is uploaded, on yeah. YouTube, so you go and listen that Lam when Lam comes before Fale Muvare, it brings three changes. So just okay. note it down, okay? Yeah. So those and are... then, yeah. Um, Fasikun, the righteous ones. Oh, mashallah, transgressors. <laughs> Asanti, I appreciate that you came. I'm sorry, I apologize. I made a little bit of mistakes. No issues. We, we call it in Urdu that girte hain shah sawari meydan e jang mein. Those who come to the battlefield, they fall from the horse. But... <laughs> A kid will not fall from the horse because the kid has already run away from the battlefield. So Alhamdulillah, we have 17 participants. Others have already run away. So Alhamdulillah, I appreciate all of you. You are there. there I know vocal Arabic, but when it comes to this Quranic one, I always make mistakes in the no, content. I appreciate if you do mistakes. Okay, I appreciate, but do new mistakes. Not the repeated ones. Okay, I'll do that. Sister Fatima Lakha. Okay, after Sister Fatima Lakha, I will ask AS iPhone. I don't know who is AS iPhone. Please, faster, faster. We have not started still. Uh, and when it was said to them, believe in that which Allah has sent down, they said we believe in that which has been sent down upon us. Excellent, excellent. Second one. Wa wal injil, and he sent down the Torah and the Bible. Min hudan wa al Before as a guidance to mankind, and he sent down the distinguisher. Excellent. 
فهمتي ويعلمه الكتاب والحكمة والتوراة والإنجيل. And he teaches the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Bible. What did you do in the translation? Were you here and he teaches? The book. Him. And he teaches him the book. Yeah, and he teaches the book. Oh, and and, oh yes, him. my apologies. And he teaches him, yes. In the book and the wisdom. Torah wal Injil. Hope. Inna anzalna Torah da fiya hudan wa nur yahkumu bihan nabiyyun. Certainly, we sent down the Torah, and it is guidance and light. Mm -hmm. The prophets judge with it. Prophets judge with it. Send the last one from you. وَآتَيْنَاهُ الْإِنْجِيلَ فِيهِ هُدًا وَنُورًا مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ مِنَ التَّوْرَاتِ وَهُدًا وَمُعِدَةً لِلْمُتَّقِينَ And we gave him the Bible, and it is guidance and light, and a very fire for that which is before him. The Torah as guidance and admonishment for the God weary. It was great. Alhamdulillah. Okay, who is, is iPhone, please? Sheikh, salam alaikum. It's me, Anar. Okay, you want to do it? I'm very, Sheikh, I don't know all this Arabic. I'm very no new shoes, to all this. No issues. There's no issue. <laughs> this, sister Effat, please help us. وَلْيَحْكُمْ أَهْلُ الْإِنْجِيلِ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ Sister Ifat? I can't hear you. Uh -huh. Can you hear my, my voice? Hello? Yes, we can hear your voice. Okay, then Sister Mukarrama, you come forward. Yeah. And he judges the people of the Bible. The people of the Bible is the subject of Yahkum. You should not do the translation. He judges. People of the Bible judge, must judge. Okay. People of the Bible must judge with that which was sent down by Allah. Why you are saying, yes. Nana, why you are saying was sent down? It is not Unzila, it is Anzala. It is Fele Ma'loom. Allah sent down. Allah sent down in it mm -hmm. Waman and that whoever Lam Yahkum and whoever does not judge mm -hmm. with it with uh, that which Allah has sent down, mm -hmm. so those are from the transgressors. Those are the transgressors. Those are transgressors. Ahsanti, jazakumullah khaira. Sister Ifat, can you please come forward? Hello? Okay, okay anyone can raise your hand? I'll give you a chance. Please raise your hand. Okay, oh, Brother Abbas. Brother Abbas, please. Brother Abbas, where are all of you actually? Okay, Sister Saida, 786110. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. And if those who stay upright, mm -hmm. the book, Taurat, and Injil, and mm -hmm. what was set down to them from the Reb, from the Lord. And if that they had established the Torah and the Bible, and that which and that which was sent down to them. From the nurture. Is call Allah, Ya Isa ibn Maryam, Udgur ni'mati alayka wa ala walidatik. And remember, Allah said, mm -hmm. O Isa, the son of Maryam, mm -hmm. remember the favor, remember my, my favor, mm -hmm. my favor on you and on your, on, upon your mother. Asanti. Wa iz alam tukal kitab wal hikmat wa tawrad wal injil. And remember, I taught you mm -hmm. the book and the wisdom, the Torah and the Injil. 
last one wa'dan alayhi haqqan fi at-tawrah wal injil wal qur'an the promise upon him the truth in the torah and the injil and the quran a promise upon him wa'dan alayhi a promise upon him upon him the truth, truth in the torah and bible and, and the quran ahsan jazakumullah khaira alhamdulillah so we have finished 12 chapters insha allah after chapter number 16 when our level 1 book will finish insha allah there will be a quiz or you can say a test of all 16 chapters but this time the test or the quiz will be different in a way that there will be translation of verses as well so before it was only a quiz multiple choice there will be translations as well insha allah so i really appreciate if you can find out from this particular group a uh, person with whom you can have a discussion we call it mubahasa have a discussion so you can do translations you can repeat the chapters okay so if there is a, any friend in your in this group or in whatsapp if you see in this class so you can have a discussion this is the best way to prepare for the exam Ahsan may Allah bless all of you and remember Imam Zaman alayhi salatu wassalam in your duas